Where are we going? And Zed, mate. <laughs> going to chase some deer and some trout. Yeah. Big stags, big browns. That's what's on the agenda. You must be pretty excited about that. Pretty frothed up. So you reckon that was a roar from in there? Oh fuck you. He's making a racket. The wind's going that way. He's making a racket for us to hear. The parry? No, that bloody deer. He's not that far down in there. <laughs> Heard them roaring. We've got some roaring. <laughs> We're off. First hunt in New Zealand. We've been for a reconnaissance mission and We've heard at least three roaring stags in three different spots, mid-morning, carrying on. So, that's exciting. So we're gonna go just for a little look and a listen, see if we can find one stag that's sort of closer to the homestead or this side of the farm, I guess. And then we heard another two that are out, way out the back. Um, which we might save for this afternoon. Yeah, which we might go and look for this afternoon. We'll see. They might, hopefully they haven't shut up too much. We're sort of right in the middle of it now. They, if, if there's ever a time of year for them to be carrying on, well, it's now. Wish us luck. calling back and forth for a while. It was pretty toey, but he wouldn't come out of the scrub. And we got impatient, so we went into the scrub. We stopped calling, because I was like, oh, I'll just let him show off where he is. And he stopped calling. And then I think we got right into his lair. Yeah, you couldn't see more than sort of 15 meters, 10 meters even. Another one chiming up there. That's the other one. There's another one further up the gully. Um, but there was a close one. But there was the one we were chasing was like right there. And then we were like, oh well, there's, we couldn't even find a game trail through any of it. It was so thick. And as we went to turn around and come back, sort of a couple hundred metres back into the open paddock, um, we bumped it and just crashing sticks and took off. So he was watching us. So he wins that round for sure. Yeah. Outsmarted. Good morning. Holy, look at this sunrise. So this morning is pretty windy. We've rugged up, um, well I have with an extra layer, but it's not really that cold. So that's a good thing. And we are taking a quad. <laughs> We're on pest control. Farmer wants the deer gone. Shoot him. <laughs> Let's go.
40 meters from these deer and they must have saw us before we saw them, unfortunately. Fucking still another three stacks roaring within a couple hundred meters. Yeah, we bumped the ones that we were close to. The hinds came up and they were alert and then Andy saw the stack. I didn't see it, but once he realized the hinds were alert, then he became alert and they spooked. There is a lot of weeds and they're not making it easy to traverse across this wet hill holding this big camera. So there's a lot of challenges and I am dealing with my emotions right now <laughs> of gunshots and knowing that I'm going to be approaching a really beautiful animal. Almost there. Gotta keep moving. <gasps> oh. 
Oh my god. I can see it. Oh my god, he's huge. Oh my god. 11 pointer. He's a good one, he's mature. Okay. Woo! Thanks, honey. Well, day three, I think. And we sort of got pipped at the try line yesterday morning and um, bumped one. We were in a bit of a silly spot and got caught on a ridge skyline by a deer. Different deer, I think, but not too far over the other side of the gully from where we just shot this fella. Um, and we were stalking in on a couple of other stags and then Daniel said that he'd seen a stag up on a scree across the gully. So I quickly raced back, I couldn't see him, and then he pointed him out, and as he moved he sort of rushed off a little bit, and then he let off a roar, and I took a bit of a shot sitting on my knee, and I think I hit him a little bit low. <coughs> we weren't sure if I'd sacked him or whether he'd taken off backwards, but we got up over here onto this ridge line, um, and he was up on this ridge line and uh, put another one in his neck and dropped him on the spot. So he's, um, yeah, proper Kiwi bush stag right on the boundary of the farm in the pines coming in and out of the native. There's quite a few deer in here. There's probably, we think, probably about four stags roaring this morning. They were a little bit quiet this morning compared to yesterday morning, but they'd fire up from time to time. Anyway, didn't need to roar back, just stalked him in. 11 pointer, weird little bay tine I think they call this one, brow, bay, tray, I think. So pretty happy, that's why we flew all the way from Western Australia, so. Yeah, stoked. Good stuff. Well, here I am again, a year or so later carrying another red stag head on my shoulders out of the bush actually wearing the same shirt <laughs> I never thought I'd be walking back to the troopy with an eight point stag head on my shoulders only this time I'm in New Zealand and I can actually see the quad so that's pretty exciting. The boys have got the legs and um, the back straps are in the sack. And I've got the backpack with camera gear. Yeah, let's get back to the quad, get back to the homestead, deal with all this meat, start boiling out the head. And happy days. I'm really excited for a feed. We've been hunting all morning since sunrise and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the journey with us 